A Boeing Starliner spacecraft is all set to return to Earth today. The mission, which was a test flight with astronaut Sunita Williams and Barry Wiltmore, was launched on the 5th of June uh, from the Space Launch Complex No. 41 at Cape Carnival Space Force Station in Florida. Initially planned as a mere eight-day mission, their stay was indefinitely extended due to helium leaks and thruster failures on the spacecraft. The Starliner mission was critical for Boeing as it was aimed at showcasing the capabilities of its commercial space capsule in sending crews to the International Space Station. However, in a big blow for Boeing, NASA has announced on the 25th of August that the astronauts will return to Earth on Elon Musk's SpaceX Crew Dragon in early February 2025. Now, after issues with helium and the spacecraft's reaction control thrusters persisted, NASA and Boeing decided on a crewless return of the Starliner for safety reasons. Meanwhile, Williams and Wilmore will remain aboard the ISS. With us on the broadcast to provide more perspective is Group Captain VN Cha, former Joint Director of the DRDO. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you for joining us. Now, uh, it's, it's a very interesting development because, as I said earlier, this mission was merely supposed to last eight days and now it's stretched on to eight months. They only will get respite in February 2025. There are, of course, uh, um, you know, views circulating around social media regarding the concerns for the health of uh, Sunita Williams and Barry Mil Wilmore as well. There are concerns regarding uh, the shrinkage of bones, concerns regarding their mental health as well. So for the benefit of our viewers, could you uh, explain to us uh, what exactly and what changes uh, could they be witnessing physically and mentally and how, and how and what possibly could they be doing in order to cope with this? Very good afternoon to all your viewers. Look, when we go to the space, into the orbit, there is a problem of zero gravity, or we call also call it microgravity. Under microgravity, there are changes in the cardiovascular system. Uh, the fluid from the dependent part of the body, like legs and the lower abdomen, they shift into the central uh, system, uh, to the face, to the heart, to the chest. So the fluid overload is one. And thereafter, since there is no gravity, there are problems in the anti-gravity muscles as well as decalcifications of the bones. But, you know, this is nothing new. This has been there on uh, for, for the, uh, ever since the uh, human space mission has happened. And on board ISS, there are ways and means of uh, doing the exercises in which strap-based treadmills are there. Uh, they are, these are the treadmills in which we do the exercise to tone up our cardiovascular system as well as to tone up our anti-gravity muscles. When we put the load onto the anti-gravity the anti uh, systems of the body, including the bone, that uh, decalcification or demineralization of the bone, that is slightly uh, you know, uh, subdued, that is, uh, that is uh, slowed down. So there are problems, but still, uh, astronauts have stayed in the orbits to almost about a year and a half. Someone uh, has also been there for almost nearly two years uh, without any significant deterioration in the health. So there is no concern from that side. And Sunita Williams uh, is specially trained. She has been there, I think, uh, earlier or twice they had, she has been there. So she is aware of those things and all astronauts who live in the ISS, that is the uh, space station, or uh, the International Space Station, or it is the Chinese Space Station. It is the daily schedule of the, uh, of the work or workouts that they keep fit, they tune up their muscles, they keep their anti-gravity muscles uh, in tune uh, so as to limit the problems. That is one aspect. Now, Sunita William and Book Wilmore, they are stuck in space for now that many months. Look. When it all happened, when the thrusters failed on 5th, 6th of the June, mm. that day itself, many of the space scientists, including me, we had mentioned that it would be uh, futile trying to uh, you know, repair the systems in the Starliner because if five of the valves, five of the helium uh, 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 boosters, mm. if they have failed, there is no reason not to believe 
that while coming back more thrusters could fail mm. so if the thrusters fail during coming back then the entire trajectory of the uh, star lander what comes on the earth you know I, for your uh, viewers may uh, let me just explain to you right now it is going in the orbit above 450 odd kilometers 420 odd kilometers above the earth when it is deorbited star lander it will be uh, decelerated so the moment velocity decreases it is being pulled by the earth the centripetal force will act onto the, uh, the object more than the centrifugal force is there due to the velocity so it will be pulled uh, by the earth and then the trajectory will be formed by the computerized entry into the atmosphere there is a particular trajectory if those thrusters fail and there is no reason i mentioned to you there is no reason not to believe that more thrusters could fail then the trajectory will be uh, you know derailed it will be a different trajectory the point of entry into the atmosphere will could be different from what is planned so star liner when it enters the atmosphere it could land or it could splash down into the sea at place which is not known it could be you know totally a uh, different uh, location of its entry and its landing or splashing down onto the earth so all these unpredictability was there that is the reason why star liner is coming without crew that is one thing now as far as sunita williams and the book belmore is coming that uh, we had uh, uh, recommended in the beginning itself that space x should be contacted their uh, uh, you know crew module are the one which is meant for the repeated uh, uh, re-entry through the uh, system and they should come back in that now off late even space x is having a problem right in their falcon 9 rockets two of their uh, rockets recently uh, one was on 28th august and another was on 11th july that have failed to uh, behave in a way which it was supposed to be their uh, uh, the, the upper stage motor they have failed so there is unpredictability with the space x itself so right now sunita william and book book uh, will not they are in the international space station space x has sent the consumables there they will be there for some time till the time space x crew module dragon crew dragon that they call it it goes there and they all come back in this so these are the problems that uh, 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 sunita williams are facing there or space x and uh, boeing company are facing Hmm. Boeing company, of course, will have to go into the details of the failures of their boosters, and we don't call it a failure. You know, in the R and D, uh, it is it is a learner curve. If something has failed in the space while going there, which had which had been working all right on the ground, so it's a learner. It's a it's a it's more of an input that we scientists get in the design development of those systems. So obviously, Boeing will have to work it out uh, hmm. for their next flight. what all uh, systems will have to be changed or or transformed or modified or or rectified so that it doesn't happen again that is the basic of it what failure has been seen in the present system of uh, star liner must not happen again if there are many of the tests to be done here on ground they will have to be carried out and the uh, the certification uh, agency they should be very very forthright that uh, all systems are tested and certified that it doesn't have the similar failure so with all this i welcome that the star liner is coming back to the earth i only hope i i, I wish that it comes intact at the space uh, at the spot uh, it reaches where it is supposed to be there splash down is there and it is retrieved and then studied what went wrong so that is all with the star liner one more thing i would like to tell you international space station has got only two ports where the nasa system can dock mm -hmm. right now one port is occupied by the star liner mm -hmm. and the another was what was the crew dragon which had gone with the uh, uh, replacement or the uh, 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 all the consumables that it had gone so both ports were occupied now star liner is coming out even the uh, the other uh, 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 module even that has come back so both nasa ports will be now free i hope space x falcon 9 will be soon launched uh, which may not have the failure and it goes docks with the takes the crew from here 
those crew go to the international station and in the february i think it is scheduled to bring back those two crew as well as sunita william and book uh, with more uh, there are six seats in the crew dragon of spacex so all of them they come back safely so you know these are the unpredictability of the space journey that we have and i wish everything goes right indeed uh, we're all keeping our fingers crossed for the safe return of sunita williams and barry wilmore for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon